is CBS Sports, the home of the NCAA Basketball Championship. Center on the campus of Michigan State University, NCAA basketball on CBS, the first meeting ever between the Oklahoma State Cowboys and the Michigan State Spartans. And good afternoon, everybody. I'm Bruce Lundquist, along with Quinn Buckner. Welcome to East Lansing, Michigan. First meeting ever between these two teams. And for Michigan State, Quentin Brooks, Jamie Fike, and Damon Bethea in the front court. They've had real problems there. Eric Snow and Sean Westford in the back court. And Judd Heathcote in. State. He is retiring at the end of this year, and Tom Izzo will take his place. The officials, Ed Hightower, Ron Grissom, and Mike Sanzier. I expect we'll see in this game, Michigan State is a team that you know they have to go to their guards. Oddly enough, Oklahoma State really likes to push it back after you, and they like to do it after make, so the ball, guy with the ball now, Andre Owens, will push it back after you. We're tied at 67. One minute. Under One a minute, minute to go. Remaining. Rutherford with 23 points. Westford goes back down. He'll look for some screens. They'll switch it. They, they normally, they've been stepping out and normally switching that, but Collins is good enough that he can play it. You see, they come out and they force you to get the ball out of his hands. Ten on the shot clock. Good defensive possession for Oklahoma State. I thought it was very good, but what helps is when you know they only got one guy they want to go to, and that's what they look, look did, and quite, uh, Pierce stepped out. On the out-of-bounds play with 35 seconds to go in a tie game. Seven on the shot clock. Snow slip. Oh, good and three. here's a steal from Owens. He's all by himself. Oh! Offensive goaltending. Basket the interference. They're saying it hit the glass. And he tried to get to it coming off. But Owens, who leads the team in steals, is able to anticipate what's going to go. And then when Snow goes down, you see Owens knowing that he's going to pass it to Restford again. Gets there, pushes the ball up court. He tries to get it. The ball is coming off the glass. And as it was, the official makes the call. Oklahoma State by two. Here's the second man, Restford. Collins fights through the pick. Now the switch. Now nope, Collins has him back. Underneath, fight. Back it goes in the corner. Point four seconds left. Oklahoma State, no time left. No timeouts. Garavaglia with the three. <laughs> First thing you got to do is get it in. You got no timeouts. Mike. This, this is where you get hurt. You have no timeouts, so you got to get the ball in. I try to get it to Rutherford and let him make the play because he can create his own shot. Now they get it to Owens, five seconds to go. Owens is pulled down, loose ball. Michigan State has it. Their second leading percentage shooter from the three-point land. You see the penetration. 
Everybody knows that Sean Rester's going to get it. The ball is picked out by Fike. He's standing right there, looking right at it, knocks it down. Get set up. You got a chance to be a hero. Well, smart play by Fike. He never had a handle, so he threw it right out to the man. He knocks it down. You see right there a little cheering going on. Final score, 70-69. The Chevrolet players of the game, Randy Rutherford from Oklahoma State, Quentin Brooks from Michigan State. A check in the amount of $1,000 will be donated to each college's general scholarship fund to further assist qualified students in all chosen academic fields. So for Quinn Buckner, I'm Bern Lundquist saying so long from Breslin Center with the final score. Michigan State 70, Oklahoma State 69 on John Carroll three-pointer. Coming up next, doubleheader action for Wildcats taking on the Florida Gators. 69 Michigan State wins the presentation of CBS Sports, home of the NCAA Basketball Championship.